Hi friends, in this video we see some problems related to Newton's law of motion. The first problem is a constant force acts on an object of mass 5 kg for a duration of 2 seconds. It increases the object's velocity from 3 meter second minus 1 to 7 meter second minus 1. Find the magnitude of the applied force. Now, if the force was applied for a duration of 5 seconds, what would be the final velocity of the object? Okay, This question has two parts. First part, you find out the force. In the second part, you find out the final velocity of the object. First, you uh, uh, understand the question. Here, here, one object has mass 5 kg. Okay, so a constant force acting on the object for the time duration 2 seconds. Okay, so the uh, velocity increases from 3 meter second minus 1 to 7 meter second minus 1. That is, this is the initial velocity, then 7 is the final velocity. So you write the uh, given values u equal to 3 meter second minus 1, then v equal to 7 meter second minus 1, then time t equal to 2 second m equal to 5 kg then uh, you uh, use the equation f equal to m v minus u by t okay then uh, substitute the values of m v u and t in this equation we get the uh, force the value of force is f equal to 10 newton okay so the 10 newton force is acting on the object for the duration 5 seconds then now you calculate what would be the final velocity v okay for this for this we can write f equal to m v minus u by t okay so uh, multiply m uh, within the brackets so we uh, you get f equal to m v minus m u by t then uh, uh, multiply t with f f t equal to m v minus m u okay so f t rearrange this equation f t plus m plus m u equal to m v we want the value of uh, the equation for v isn't it so the, the final velocity v so uh, f t plus m u divided by m equal to v or v, uh, v can be write, uh, written as v equal to u plus f t by m. Substitute the value of u, f t and m in this equation we get f equal to 13 meter second minus 1. Okay. So the next problem is which would recur a greater force accelerating a 2 kg mass at 5 meter second minus 2 or a 4 kg mass at 2 meter second minus 2. That is, um, okay, here there are two objects. Okay, so uh, which two, which one create the, uh, which one uh, would recure greater force. Okay, so first you uh, write the given values for the uh, ma mass of the object 1 m1 equal to 2 kg then acceleration a1 equal to 5 meter second minus 2 then for the object uh, 2 m2 equal to 4 kg then a2 equal to 2 m s minus 2 ok so the here the equation is f equal to m a substitute the values of uh, m a in this equation for m1 uh, sorry for f1 f1 equal to m1 a1 so substitute the value of m1 a1 we get f1 equal to 10 newton for the object 2 f2 equal to m2 a2 substitute the value of m2 a2 in this equation we get a newton so f1 is greater force isn't it so accelerating a 2 kg mass at 5 meter second minus 2 would require a greater force okay so the third problem is a motor car is moving with a velocity of 108 kilometer per hour and it takes 4 seconds to stop 
after the brakes are applied. Calculate the force exerted by the brakes on the motor car if its mass along with the passenger is 1000 kg. Okay, so the one motor car is moving the velocity 108 km per hour. Okay, now we apply the four, uh, now we apply the brakes for 4 seconds. Okay, then uh, the motor car is stopped. Okay, then calculate the force exerted by the brakes on the motor car. Okay, for uh, here we calculate the fo force if its mass along with the passenger is 1000 kg. The motor car mass is calculated along with passenger is 1000 kg. Okay, first you write the given values u equal to 108 km per hour and the time t equal to 4 second. Okay, so kilometer per, uh, now here we convert kilometer per hour into meter second minus 1. Because uh, the velocity is uh, always measured in meter second minus 1. Okay, to convert meter per uh, kilometer per hour into meter per second minus 1, we multiply 5 by 18. Okay, so 108 multiply 5 by 18 gives 30 meter per second minus 1. Here u equal to 30 meter second minus 1. After the brake supplies, there is no uh, movement, isn't it? So, the final velocity is 0. So, V equal to 0 meter second minus 1. Now, we calculate uh, the force. Okay. So, the total mass of the motor car along with the passenger is 1000 kg. Okay. So, the M equal to 1000 kg. So, we write the equation, force equation that is F equal to M V minus U by T. Then for m, uh, m is here 1000. So 1000 uh, V is 0, 0 minus 30 by 4 second. Okay. So we get minus 7500 kg uh, m meter second minus 2. Here the uh, minus sign tells uh, the force exerted by the brakes uh, by the brakes on the motor car is uh, opposite to the direction of the motor cars. So, we put the minus sign. Okay. So, the next problem is a force of 5 Newton gives a mass M1 an acceleration of 10 meter second minus 2 and a mass M2 an acceleration of 20 meter second minus 2. What acceleration would it give if both the masses were tied together? Okay. First, you uh, write the given uh, values. Here, two objects, the uh, mass, uh, the acceleration of the first object is uh, a1 equal to 10 meter second minus 2. Then, uh, the acceleration for the object 2 is a2 equal to 20 meter second minus 2. Then, we write the formula f equal to ma. So, we want to calculate the mass. Isn't it? So, the force is given, acceleration is given. Uh, so, we find out the uh, mass. Ma from this equation, we can write the mass m1 equal to f by a1. Okay. So, for the object 1. Okay. So, equal to uh, f equal to 5 Newton by a1 equal to 10 meter second minus 2. Then, divide, we get the answer 0 0.50 kg. For the object uh, 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 2, the mass m2 equal to f by a2 equal to 5 newton by 20 meter second minus 2. We divide the equation, we get 0 0.25 uh, uh, kg. Okay. Here, what acceleration would it give if both the masses were tied together? Okay. So, we, we joined the masses. That means, we add the masses. So, f equal to 0 0.50 kg that is m1 plus m2 isn't it so total mass is 0 0.50 kg plus 0 0.25 kg then we add we get 0 0.75 kg okay here then uh, the value of the acceleration is a equal to f by m so f equal to 5 newton by m equal to 0 0.75 so then we get uh, we divide the two values we get 
6.67 meter second minus 2. That is we find the acceleration A. Okay. That's all. Thank you friends.